2020. Oh my gosh, what a year. But that is behind us. It's time to focus on 2021. And if you want success in 2021 as a medical rep, I'm going to tell you the one thing that you need to start focusing on right now. Want to know what it is? I'll bet you do. Stick around. Hello, my friends. This is Mace Haroff. Welcome to 2021 and welcome to the Medical Sales Channel, where I help you sell more and retain business in the medical device, biotechnology, pharmaceutical, life science, and med tech industries. Wow. Uh, just so you have a frame of reference, this is being recorded in January 2021 after a wild and tumultuous year. But I think 2021 is going to be great. Let's plan to make it that way. So if you had a good 2020, some medical reps did, then congratulations. But right now, if you did not grow as much as you wanted to in 2020 and are looking for a better 2021, or if business was down in 2020, I'm going to show you one main thing you can do that will make a huge difference moving forward. And I've talked to so many reps who've struggled this year, and it has been a, gosh, this past year, it has been crazy. So one of the biggest problems that medical reps are going to continue to have is going to be access, access to their customers, healthcare professionals. Well, why? Well, because of the time of this recording, right now, there is a deadly coronavirus which has reached new highs all over the world. And if you're a healthcare professional or you're running a hospital, you don't want anybody entering who doesn't need to enter. You want to reserve the space for patients, allow them in and keep everybody else out. That's what's going on. So what about salespeople? Well, yeah, healthcare professionals, hospitals, they still need to interact with salespeople, but they will pick and choose where and how those interactions take place and about what. This makes it very difficult for you as a salesperson to be able to introduce new products or even older products, which might be a good fit for your customers. So what did a lot of reps do back in 2020? Well, suddenly we started using a new word, virtual selling. And virtual selling is pretty cool. If you know what you're doing, if you understand the differences between selling in person and selling virtually, it can be very, very effective. But if you don't, it could be a, it could be a dumpster fire because it's very difficult, again, if you don't have these skills to be able to make that emotional connection virtually that you make when you're selling in person. But there is another factor that goes beyond this. You see, success is not just about replacing in-person selling with virtual selling. If that were the case, that would be pretty easy. You just flip on a video cam like I'm doing here and you start having a conversation with your prospects and customers uh, about your new product. It doesn't work that way. What really makes the difference is how you approach. It has to do with your approach because here's the thing. Most medical reps approach by doing what? What do they talk about? They talk about their product or service. And that's very intuitive. It, it seems natural. I mean, I want to sell my product, so I'm going to talk about my product. Well, think about it. Think about your overwhelmed customers who are dealing with this crisis right now. And even once this crisis disappears, they, were, they will be dealing with the crisis of just trying to deliver healthcare every day. So this just doesn't disappear. But if you're overwhelmed and someone wants to sell you a product, when you already have a product that is working, at least in your mind it is working because you wouldn't be using it if, it wasn't, if you didn't think it was working, then it feels as if it's just a waste of time. So focusing on the product isn't the way to go. But I want you to understand this because this is very important. Regardless of the crisis, in fact, because of the crisis, your accounts, the customers in your accounts, the other decision makers and stakeholders in your accounts, they still have issues that they need to address. They have challenges, they have mandates that they have to fulfill. And specifically, there are issues which if you put your thinking cap on, you can help them to solve. So here's the, one of the keys. Don't go out and pick 
every feature and benefit that's with your product or your service because that's just going to confuse the issue that's a product focus but what you want to do is you want to be able to identify one or two issues that are important enough and urgent enough to your customers that if these issues can be addressed they will want to address it now and here's another hint that I'm going to give for you because this this is so important this is what worked with the people that I helped last year the biggest issue they have in their lives right now is what is impacting them right now and here in January 2021 if you're a healthcare professional it is still the coronavirus so instead of selling how you always sold in the past by talking about the same features and benefits that your product has because those features and benefits they don't really change do they they're built into the product but what you need to do is you need to switch up your sales approach for it instead of being product focused it needs to be focused on real time issues i want you to think real time real time means discussing what's important in your customers mind and their patients lives right now and things that you can make a difference for them right now you see when they are struggling with things that are associated with the pandemic this is what's on their mind and here's another key factor that i want you to understand these things that you can help them with these issues that you can solve or these mandates that you could help them to fulfill they are not always aware of it or it's not at the top of their thinking so part of your job is to bring these issues into focus for them to get them to think about them and let me tell you something else right now i can hear what you're thinking because I, i've had so many calls you might be thinking well you know i sell a product which is pretty generic it's a commodity so how am i going to connect my product with this coronavirus thing well i did over 100 consulting calls way over 100 consulting calls with medical sales representatives last year to help them focus on what they can talk about what they can sell and here's something that i discovered regardless of the product that they sold and believe me most of them were commoditized at some level or at a very high level regardless of what they sold i was able to help them come up with a minimum of five ways to connect their product to the current coronavirus crisis and as many as 15 ways and if we would have had more time i probably could have helped them come up with much more it's about thinking differently it's about thinking about your product and about the problems or challenges that your product solves through the eyes of your customer what would get their attention what would be beneficial to them right now so you're probably saying okay mace give me an example well thank you thank you for asking because i'm going to do just that all right let's sell you sell a um, a very let's say you sell a very generic commoditized product uh, a, an iv solution let's say a, an electrolyte solution we'll make it even more generic so you're probably thinking okay not very exciting electrolytes are electrolytes it's it's a commodity but what happens if a patient's electrolytes are down they need more electrolytes well a doctor is going to go ahead and order electrolytes and they give it to the patient okay so the first question you want to ask is let's let's ask the obvious question is during this time of crisis uh, with the coronavirus would a patient who's being treated for coronavirus be given electrolytes well certainly if they need it and generally speaking they will because people who have coronavirus they're not eating or drinking as much they don't have as many fluids going in um, and even if we take it a step further if you consider coronavirus patients who are on ventilators they're being tube fed electrolyte imbalances develop so the answer is absolutely yes okay so again still kind of a commodity how can you decommoditize it all right here's where you need to think differently first of all look at your competitor's product in other words if you want to get your product into the hospital look at what they're using right now so this is made up but i think it will 
give you a good example of how your thinking needs to be. So let's say that the, the electrolyte product that they're using right now, it needs to be kept in a refrigerator and that refrigerator in this particular hospital is down in the pharmacy. So whenever a doctor orders electrolytes, what happens is the nurse needs to requisition the pharmacy to send up these electrolytes. So it takes some time for him or her to do that. They have to sit down and type in the requisition and then they have to wait for the, the electrolyte solution to be delivered and then they can uh, give it to the patient. All right, so there's a, there's a few more steps in there. So let's say that your product doesn't need refrigerated, refrigeration. In fact, it can be stocked on the shelf in the ICU, in the emergency department, or on any floor in the hospital. So do you have a benefit that is connected to the coronavirus or, or benefiting healthcare professionals who are treating patients in this crisis? Well, of course, because you can save them time. And anytime you save them, it can be used to treat patients. We all know that their hospitals are short staffed. So this is a, a, a huge benefit. I should say a potentially huge benefit because the, the only true test is how the person you're talking to perceives it, but it allows you to build a story. So, okay, let me give you another example with the same product. All right, again, made up example, but I think this might get your attention because right now I wanna to talk to you about diarrhea. Now, that probably just made you sick to your stomach when, it, when I said that, or unless you're a true healthcare professional, you go, diarrhea? Ha, diarrhea doesn't bother me. I work in healthcare. Well, the thing with diarrhea is that people would like to avoid it. Healthcare professionals would like to avoid it in their patients when they can. So let's say with your electrolyte solution, your electrolyte solution uh, has a benefit. And here's the benefit. Normal electrolyte solution, such as the competitive one, it elevates the patient's electrolytes, but one of the side effects is it gives a nasty, nasty case of explosive diarrhea. And your product does not. Do you think this is a factor during the coronavirus pandemic? When they have diarrhea, it means that the healthcare professionals have to take time to clean them up. Or for patients who aren't on ventilators, aren't sedated, it means more bedpans, more attention, more complications because diarrhea that's not cleaned up can cause skin maceration and other problems. Not to mention the fact that patients just appreciate it a whole lot more when they don't have diarrhea. Your product does not cause this side effect. Do you think this is worth talking about? So imagine if when you were approaching an account, instead of talking about, I have an electrolyte solution and we could offer you a 5% discount, if instead you start talking about the issue first, the issue you can address, if you're talking to someone who's treating COVID patients, do you think you would stand a better chance of getting their attention? Of course you would. Now, I can't tell you that it's going to work every time. In fact, you have to try it. You have to identify these issues, these real-time issues, and then have a real-time conversation. But the point is, if there is real-time relevance that you can demonstrate and then connect your product to, you are going to get a lot further than talking about a generic product. And I want you to look at it this way. Think about it. If you just go in front of your customers when they're in crisis and you start talking about a product and they're not connecting the dots, they don't really understand how your product can help them. This is no different than if you were in a, a personal health crisis and you went to the doctor and the, doctor, and the doctor starts saying, okay, well, here's what I'm gonna do for you. I'm gonna treat this, I'm gonna treat this, I'm gonna put you on these solutions. And the doctor hasn't even asked you why you're there. What are you complaining about? Where does it hurt? It's the same thing. You have to have a real-time conversation first. And here's something else that I wanna make sure that you understand. As you move forward into 2021, you have to ask yourself this question. What is the one thing you can do that gets you more results? More results in terms of more sales, more sales volume, more income to yourself and your family than anything else. What is the one activity that you can do? Think about it. In fact, shout out the answer right now. What's the one activity? You should have an answer. I'm gonna tell you what it is. The one activity that will 
give you more results than any other activity that you do as a medical sales professional is this, and that is to have better real-time conversations with your customers, prospects, and every stakeholder in your account that you need to connect with. You want to have conversations. It's not about a sales presentation. It's not about going in there and talking at them about your product. It's about having a conversation that will help you to uncover the problems, the challenges, the opportunities that lie before you that you can address with what you do. So if you want to be successful in 2021, understand what your job is. Your job is to have relevant, focused, real-time conversations about real-time issues. What's happening in your customers' lives now? What's happening in their patients' lives now? Moving forward, think real-time. Focus on that. And if you're addressing and discussing real-time issues, you're going to have more access. You're going to have more engagement. And guess what else, my friend? You're going to have more sales. I hope you found this helpful. And I hope you will start applying it right now. 2021 is a year of opportunity. Yeah, 2020 was horrible. And yes, access might be more limited than it's ever been. But I don't want you to see the coronavirus pandemic as, as something that blockades your business. I want you to see it as an opportunity for you to do more for your customers and their patients than ever before. So thanks for being here. If you are watching this on YouTube and you found it helpful, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. You could also watch this on my website at medicalsalestraining.com where there are also plenty of other free, free resources to help you in 2021. So please let me know how I could help. I will be making more videos like this throughout the year. Make sure you catch them on LinkedIn, on YouTube, and at my website at medicalsalestraining.com. 2021 will be a great year for you despite the seeming obstacles that are in your way right now. You have to think differently. You have to sell differently. I think 2021 is going to be an awesome year. What do you think? Go out there and make a difference. I will talk to you again soon. For the Medical Sales Channel, I'm Mace Haroff. Bye for now.